The Blues have all but locked in a home quarter final, but for the Highlanders, it's a fight to stay alive. The final round before the Super Rugby Pacific playoffs kicks off at Eden Park with a match with massive connotations and not just for these two teams. No, it's not. The Blues get it back to Stephen Pedalfetta and they're not That's going to fine. play anymore inside their own 22. Well, we're going to have a look at something here. I just wonder whether there was a hint of a bit of a, a cannonball tackle from the kickoff. Okay, so we've got very low danger. It is a high tackle, so it's foul play. But because of the passive danger of the tackle, it's mitigation. So just back for a penalty, nothing more. Multiple threats. Papali'i in the back of the scrum. Advantage! And advantage Don't to the Blues. Me. They'll advantage. try and drive it towards the post. Now it's there for Christie. Pass doesn't find the mark. And so they'll come back for the penalty. Oh, oh, Harry Plummer from right in front. Burns, the restart, tracking across to take it to Pelotu. Good challenge from... Nareki and a loose ball squirting out the side and this time it's the Highlanders who get the penalty for holding on. There's no one else there on the ball when lifts. Sam Gilbert to put the Highlanders back in front, which he does. It's 6-3. Hands coming through illegally. Blues playing under advantage, talking to Fassi. Look at Tilly! Slides over! Seventh try of the season and the first of the night. Well, there it is, four to one to two. The numbers on the back using their skills, but the most important part was Mark Tillier cleaning that ruck from Tom Robinson. And was there a little hint of a lost ball there? Okay, so I'm going to disallow the try. There's a knock on by nine. It's the Highlanders coming over. They're not supporting his body weight. That's the cause of that. So it's a penalty back here. Okay. So Riccatelli has to fire it away to Christie. Plummer. Cannons into Gilbert. Tackle! Ball's been ripped away in the tackle. Yep. Pedal so Feta. Knees were on the ground as he's ripped. So the tackle had been completed. The rip was illegal by Nareki. And so it's tackle. a penalty right in front of the post here for the Blues. Now Tonga Fasi. Players away to the right. One of them's two for Lotto and he's in. And this time the Blues are not denied. Beautifully executed try here from the Blues. Tucker. Let's go, let's go. They look to drive it and it's been taken down illegally by the Highlanders. Christie. Sliding a kick through that's easily mopped up by Mitch Hunt, so they'll come back for the penalty. And Plummer, and it's a pretty good kick. It's over. So right on the stroke of half time, a penalty by Harry Plummer has the Blues out to a 10-point lead in the Gordon Hunter Trophy match at Eden Park, 16 to 6 the score. Again, the Blues power it up. Again, they get the advantage. Aaron Smith comes around all over Papali'i. Penalty, and someone's going to the bin here. Angle and collapse, three. And it is Jermaine Ainsley. Someone's lost a boot. I think that might be Pedal Fetter's orange boot. Burns now floating a wide one. Nareki dribbles a kick through. Pedal Fetter knocked away from him. Gilbert, oh, he's over. Well, he wants a look. And yet again, we're going to go upstairs. And the question is, has Gilbert touched it into Pedal Fetter? Uh, ben, we're going to overturn your on-field decision. Yep, We've okay. got a knock-on by Blue initially, so it's a scrum to Red. Okay. First knock-on by Blue, then by Red. We can't award the try, but we'll go back behind the scrum. Okay. Set! 
Well, they're going to have to make it happen quickly here. Advantage being played. Mick Ali too, looking to switch the direction of play as Fatuli Paya. Rush goes in. They're going to have a shot here. I like this decision. Fakatava, nice little ball on the inside for Connor Garden Basham. Just initially a little isolated, and that means a penalty to the Blues. So the Blues will take winning form into a quarter-final here at Eden Park next week, and it is going to be an anxious weekend for the Highlanders.